Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Myself AJ from AutomationJockey.com. In this video, we will learn about few of the Excel commands and how to use it in a loop. This was requested by Vijay and Rehan. So let's begin. All right. So let me just open the Excel file and show you how is it. So we have column A, column B, and column C. A represents A and B represents the values that we have to operate on and uh, C column represents what operation we have to do and the results we have to save in column D alright so uh, let me just quickly start automation in your client okay. for the first startup it will take a while so I have to be patient First thing we have to do is uh, add few variables here. Say, well, one. Result and row count. So uh, let us go to the Excel. Okay, let me open the Excel file. Open spreadsheet. Browse the spreadsheet. And select the file and click on open. And the session name should remain the same. It should not be changing. Alright, so make sure it doesn't change. Okay. Now, uh, let's just go with uh, variable operation of a row count. Why I specified two here because in the Excel, <coughs> I'm sorry, in the Excel we have to process column from the row two, row three, row four, and so on. We don't have to count uh, uh, column, sorry, row one since it's then had it. All right. So now let me go to again Excel command and put a get cell. I want a specific cell of say column A and row count 2 since we are initialized with 2 it will go for A2 alright and assign to a variable well 1 now you have to look through each and every row of this excel file right so I will, I will apply a condition of a loop which will stop when we get an empty value in column A. All right. So uh, for that, uh, let me go to the loop. Put on a condition. A variable. Add it. That will have to look well. Well, one is not equal to an empty value. Now we have to increment that uh, row count value by 2. Now it's currently it's a 2. Now we increment it by 1, so it will be 3. Then 4, 5, 6. So the row count increases every time it, it goes into the loop. Alright, so. one click on save okay now we need to assign 
the same value again two value one so let me just uh, make a duplicate uh, you can just do a copy paste click on a duplicate or you can press ctrl D from your keyboard to make a duplicate copy of those uh, task line right here <coughs> now we will add a condition for the operation but before that we need to get values of each and every uh, column we have like uh, column A, column B and column C so this will be column 1 Excel column 1, Excel column 2 and Excel column 3 we just go to the Excel and get uh, cells. I say get multiple cell. Now you have to specify the range. Now from which range to which range you want to have the values. So I would say I will go on from uh, column A to column C with a row count of uh, one. That is row count one. Sorry, row count. So we go for. A row count from and 2 it will be C F2 row count alright so all the values from A2 to AC I will be receiving it in an Excel column data set so and now we got the Excel column and so now let us go to the loop excel column data set now make sure the session name is same and click on save All right. so in a comment you'll get a hint on how to use its variable so it's an excel column variable which you have to use so let me delete this comment and put on some if condition because we are getting these three rows these three columns this is excel column 1 excel column 2 and excel column 3 save and say if it is uh, equal to add and just simply copy and paste here alright apply as if drag and drop as if here you can see here it's an else if and you just select variable add it and again uh, excel column 3 is equal to the second operation we have that is subtract Let me just uh, simply copy paste it. Or you can do Ctrl D to for duplicating the command. We have subtract already, so I will use multiply next. All right. Next is divide. And we have one more, which is concave. These are the conditions which we have to uh, take care in the excel file so let us uh, simply do the operations on this uh, excel variables so now we'll use variable operation the first one is addition the condition so it will be excel column one 
plus F2 XL column 2 okay and the result should be saved in the variable called result and click on save so I can just do a copy paste here and instead of addition I will do subtract because it's in sub if condition for the subtract and now we have for multiply next we have for divide Now we have to concatenate. So for concatenate, we don't have to use uh, variable operation. We can use, but I would advise you to go for uh, string operation before and after. And here we can just use. Uh, sorry. Excel column one. Space. F two. Remember, we have concatenated the two uh, values by space, blah blank space. So I will assign it to variable result and click on save. If you want to do by a variable operation, you can also go through variable operation here. In both ways you will get the same result, but uh, since you are working with string, I would prefer you go with the string operation. So let me disable this. Now we got the value in the result, but you have to apply that or add it into the excel file, in the column D. Okay? So for that, I use the excel command, which is set cell. In a specific cell, I would say uh, column D uh, the row should be the row count and the value would be result insert save now once this is done I want to close the excel file alright so I just uh, copy paste this command open click on close uh, Automation anywhere save the file automatically at the time of close. If you don't want to save, you can uh, check this box. Do not save the Excel, uh, do not save the changes. But since I want to save, I'll uncheck it and click on save. So, this is done. I can save the task. So let us open the excel file and see how it went. So now you can see uh, we have uh, results here which is addition of subtraction, multiplication, divide. We have concatenated the two string values, subtraction, divide, again everything, concatenate, add and multiply. So this is it folks, uh, if you have any questions you can write it down in the comment and if you want me to make any specific video. You can also let me know via email or in the comment below. Have a nice day. Thank you.